Today is a special video because when it comes to AI, ChatGPT, or Claude, this is one of my favorite topics and things to do. Now watch this, right away, I'm gonna get 20 prompts, and that is creating prompt engineering machines, or prompt generators. Prompt generators are prompts that generate prompts, basically providing a never-ending cycle of prompts and ideas. So for today, I'm gonna share an amazing prompt generator you'll definitely wanna try. You'll be providing ChatGPT or Claude with just one simple or or basic subject. And from that keyword or subject, it's gonna come up with some words I could have never have thought of on my own. You're gonna end up with tons of prompts that's going to produce some of the most amazing and mesmerizing images you'll find. It's like a never ending cycle of unique creativity. And this one might be one of my new favorites. I'll include a link in my description so you can access that prompt generator in addition to hundreds of other prompts, including my mega prompts databases. So to get started, let me first show you if you have access to these prompt generators, I have now entered them into these databases. So here's the first one. This is my mega prompts database. And up here at the very top, select prompt engineer as your tab. And down here at the bottom, here is the actual prompt that we're gonna be using today. As you can see, it is quite a long one, but you're gonna be amazed with the results it's gonna provide you with. If you have access to this one, it's gonna be again, under the prompt engineer tab. And I'll also include it in the AI art prompt tab as well. But then if you have access to this Leonardo AI, Mega Prompts database. I also will include it over here as well in the top tab underneath prompt generators again, and it will be down here at the very bottom as well. So in the Leonardo database, there are 56 prompt generators in addition to hundreds of other prompts, whereas the Mega Prompts database is currently going to have close to 3,000 prompts for every single category imaginable. But one of the most important reminders I do want to tell you guys is that for every video I make, make sure you do check all of the links in the description because anytime I share prompts, tips or prompt generators, I will always include them completely free to use via links in the description. So when I do do that, just make sure you also check out the prompts on my website. Every single blog post that you see on here will have some sort of prompt or prompt generator. Okay, but enough of that. Let's go ahead and now get started. So first, I'm going to go ahead and then just copy this whole entire prompt right here. Okay, once I have it copied, you can then choose your AI of choice. So for this prompt generator, I've been using using both Claude and ChatGPT. And then once you have the prompts you wanna try, then you could choose your AI generating platform. And for today, I'll be using Leonardo AI. And so on Leonardo AI, just a quick sample, you could see two of the images I turned into motion that I was able to make with this actual prompt generator. So if I come over here into ChatGPT, I'm just using 3.5. The free one works perfectly. You could see the prompts I got right away. I have 10 categories, but for each category, I'm gonna get two different prompts. The same thing over here in Claude, I get 10 categories, but for each category, I get two different prompts, leading us to 20 prompts in total. So I have one A and one B, two A and two B, etc. Let me first show you how to use this prompt. So I'm going to open up a new chat in chat GPT. Again, I'm in four. Let me go ahead and move it to 3.5 just because it's going to be much faster. I do have my prompt copied. So the next thing I'll do is I'll simply just paste this long prompt in. And so basically what this prompt is going to do, it's basically telling the AI that you're an expert prompt engineering machine based off of my keyword. I want you to give me prompts. So I first went ahead and then provided it with 10 very unique keywords. Now, the reason why these keywords are so important is because some of these keywords I could have never thought of on my own. So for example, let me show you some of my favorites right here. Okay. So as I scroll down, you could see some of these produce some amazing looking images. If I open up this one over here on the left hand side, spiral verse, if I expand it, you could see the actual prompt. It says spiral verse neon fractal lighting flame lion. Now, I don't know about you, but those chains of unique keywords, I honestly couldn't have thought of on my own. Okay, so not only that one, but then also this one right here. I'm hovering over it right now. Let me click to expand it. Look at these amazing looking images that we're going to get, which can only be obtained through utilizing these series of keywords. Okay, so this one, for example, glowing pastel, purple, phosphorescence. I definitely would have never have thought about those chain of keywords to try. But that is where this prompt generator is going to succeed. So once I have the whole entire prompt pasted in here, simply just do this, okay? Go ahead and now select enter. The first thing ChatGPT says is, I understand 
just provide me with the subject you're looking for. It really is this simple. Okay, so with that said, here at the very bottom, that's all you have to do. So just type that in, beautiful woman. That simple, two words, couldn't get any simpler. Select enter, now watch this, right away, I'm gonna get 20 prompts. So, I have 10 different categories that I was able to find myself. We have synthwave, photoluminescence, ethereal, bioluminescent, electroluminescent. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that one. So notice this. Each bullet point is going to be a specific genre or category of image. From there, we're going to get two prompts per each category. So for an example, let me go to number four, okay? Bioluminescent. The first one, I instructed ChatGPT to do this. The first prompt will be a prompt using my specific keyword. The second prompt will be a prompt using a synonym of the keyword I provide or a completely different keyword word of your choosing that's even more unique than the one I provided. So essentially, in total, you will generate 20 different prompts. Perfect. So that's what we have right here, and that's exactly what we're going to get. So when you get prompt one or prompt two, even though it might not be identical to my specific keyword, we gave ChatGPT or Claude the permission to take the creative job and then just give me something completely unique. If you are not happy with any of these, the thing you could always do over and over again is say, please provide more. I said please provide more and when you do that you're going to get immediately 20 more. That's why I say this prompt generator can actually be an infinite amount of prompt producers. And then there you have it right here. I have 20 more. Okay, now all my images are done generating. Now let me show you the results we got with these. Now, I'll warn you, you might have to pick your jaw off the floor because these produced some amazing results. I didn't use every single prompt. 20 prompts would really exhaust a lot of my tokens, but nonetheless, I did do a few. And I also didn't do every single category. So moving forward, what you're going to see are all images with the same keyword, beautiful woman. But nonetheless, you could take any keyword I'm using today, replace it with your own. So start Starting in Leonardo AI, another thing to keep in mind is your images are going to look different based off of your fine-tuned model. So this one right here is based off of the keyword, which is going to be based off of number 10, this dreamscape right here. So you can see that's exactly what Leonardo AI presented to me. And using this specific fine-tuned model, this is the image that we got. I mean, this is amazing. The gradient color with the skies, definitely a celestial being. Okay, now going down, we went with Leonardo Kino XL. This is going to be a similar sort of prompt, but look at the images I got with this one. This did a fantastic job. I love the way these turned out, especially with the environment and then those animals. Now, going down even further, but look at these amazing looking images I get with that like celestial lighting and that glow and then the combination of all these different colors. Again, these are things I could have never have thought of on my own. So scrolling through some of these like this one I love right here. And what you're going to really appreciate about these is especially if you're using Leonardo AI. If I like this one for an example, watch this. If I select motion, now let's go ahead and generate a motion video. Once that's done, we'll revisit this because you're gonna be so impressed with what Leonardo AI does with this, making it a motion video. Scrolling down, we just have a few more and then a completely different set of images and a new look and feel again, all based off of the actual fine-tuned model that you're gonna be using. We have this one right here, all beautiful looking images. And then last but not least in Leonardo AI, amazing job with these front facing images right here. So as we can see, Leonardo AI did a fascinating job. Now let's go over to Midjourney to see what sort of images we got with these prompts. And you can just see the attention and level the detail that these prompts provided to make images that look just like this. We can also take a look at this one right here. This did a phenomenal job. In addition to this cyberpunk one right here. Now this is one of my my new favorite cyberpunk ones. And then two more in Mid Journey right here. And this is where I think Mid Journey really did shine because the way it made these images right here, specifically with the top left and the bottom right, look at the level of detail with this image right here, specifically with the water splashes and the raindrops falling down. Phenomenal job. And then right down here, last but not least in Mid Journey, I think with this image as well, I say specifically because of the bottom two, the one on the left and then the bottom right over here as well. Amazing job. Again, images I could have probably never have
haven't produced myself unless I put a lot more thought into it. So there you have it. Another amazing prompt generator specifically based off of some very unique keywords. So let me know what you guys think. Check the links in the description and add one of your comments and tell me what images you were able to generate with this prompt generator. But thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. Until then, we'll see you next time. I'm turning back.